Welcome to LA Rider. I'm TW. Have you ever wished you had a time machine? I think all of us wish we had one right now so we could fast forward past this pandemic and all the other crazy things that 2020 has brought us. Well, a few weeks ago, Amanda Jo took a trip back in time all the way to the 16th century and on a motorcycle, of course. Another beautiful autumn morning greeted us as we set out for the short ride from Ponchatoula to the Louisiana Renaissance Festival just outside Hammond. According to the RenFest website, the festival is many things, theme park, theater, holiday shopping destination, and educational experience all rolled into many awesome adventures. But as I pulled into the 16-acre festival site, I felt as if I was riding my Harley through a temporal portal and was actually being transported back to 16th century England. Every autumn, the Louisiana Renaissance Festival creates the English Village of Albright with hundreds of entertainers, reenactors, artisans, and educational demonstrations. And it is all good, clean, family-oriented fun. One thing we love about coming to the Renaissance Festival is all of the food. Now it wouldn't be a Louisiana festival without food, and there is plenty of it. Cajun, Italian, Asian, you name it. But there is nothing like a giant turkey leg to really get you into the medieval experience. Here we go, first bite. Oh, that's it, that's what I'm talking about. And then there are the games of skill like axe throwing. We're about to throw some axes up in here. Yeah. You can beware, get ready, here we go. We're about to get dangerous. <laughs> it's a lot more fun than throwing darts and much harder too. But once you get the hang of it, you can really let them fly. It's my game today. There are games of strength too. This one probably needs no explanation. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Well, I got two more tries, and on the last one, I was just inches from the bell. <laughs> I'll have to practice up for next year. Now, I may not have rung the bell, but this poor jester paid the price. Throwing rotten tomatoes is a little messy, but the clown got the worst of it. Little time. All right, start from right here. If you can't reach, I'll let you go closer. All right. I think you got this. <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready, go for it. Whenever he's ready. Hey, what's up? I love you in that movie, Brave. What's it like being the only cheerleader without a soul? When you get mad and yell at all your other friends that they call you a ginger snap? Oh God. Hey, I'm sorry. Who hurt you? I don't think he will be calling me a ginger snap again. That's why you don't have a boyfriend right there. Give her a hand. <laughs> now it isn't very 16th century, but there is nothing like chocolate dipped cheesecake to celebrate a successful rotten tomato throw and close out a visit to Renfest. That's the best way to end this day. It really is. This was the 20th year for RenFest, and although crowds were a little smaller because of COVID, it was a huge success. If you missed it, don't worry. RenFest takes place every year from November through the second week of December. Six fun-filled weekends every year in the 16th century village of Albright.